kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. Welcome back to this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. It is 75 degrees here. It's supposed to go down to 50s again next week. So we're going to try. Let's take a step outside my workshop here. Hear the wind? It's pretty windy. I mean, if you've got chop on my little thing here, it's, it's fairly windy. we got 25, 30 mile an hour winds. There's Robo Mower covered up. Um, <clears throat> but, so I'm going to try to get some boat running in this week. That wind dies down a little bit. So... Let's go over the skiff. Now, where we left off with this, I had to seal it, I had to paint it, had to do a bunch of stuff. So I'll go over some of the things we did. We did a rough sand on everything. I did all the fill. Uh, the sanding is not totally complete yet, but it's really close. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can see that or not. We did, did some sanding here, molded in this uh, crust. Um, Filled all the back where we had little gappages. Used uh, used my fiberglass putty that I used, and I also did use some of the uh, Durham's wood putty, which works really well for certain things. You can see some there, some there. Okay, we still need to sand it for the final. This is not done, uh, but those are, oh shit, those are just uh, pen marks. And we have to sand this down. Then I painted it we did the foam pour foam which you've seen me use a thousand times in my video so i didn't think we needed to record that sanded it so it's flush um make it look somewhat neat this is all dirty inside nothing's cleaned out you can see here i made a bench and it actually says that in the directions you know if you want to make a bench out of some spare wood out of the kit uh go ahead so i made that put that in then i painted the whole, shot the whole thing white and then just shot a uh, clear coat about five coats of clear to seal everything up. And you gotta remember, when we first built this, we sealed this up with fiberglass. Okay, so this thing is sealed, baby. I mean, we got a very thick, maybe two coats, I can't remember, now, one really thick coat of fiberglass in here already. And then we painted it, I painted it about four coats of white, and uh, then we, I shot two or three coats of clear to seal it up the paint, because if you get gas in there, it's gonna eat it all up. So my plan is, I bought red and blue paint. Um, the red was gonna be for this and the blue was for the rigger, which I did paint the rigger. I'm clear coating it as we speak. And, uh, but I think I might make this boat red, white, and blue. Make it like an American flag, Miss Independence or something like that, just kind of cool. Uh, we do have to build the hatch, goes over the engine yet to do. Uh, but I wanna get, I gotta sand this off. So what I did is I didn't mask anything. I just painted the whole inside tried to avoid the nose because it's waste paint and then I basically sanded all of our surfaces so you can see where it's still white here I'm not gluing there this edge very difficult to see is beveled okay and it's beveled at the same angle as our bulkheads okay so then after I painted it because much easier to paint these pigs with the top off then I took my orbital and I went along at the exact same angle and I did some hand well hand sanding too uh, and got all the paint off of my glue edges because we're gonna take 30 minute epoxy. Ooh, I need to seal this Didn't think about that did you dummy? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna mix a lot of epoxy I guess um, <clears throat> And then we'll put I are and I sealed the top Okay, so when I was doing all that clear coating and this looks really ugly and that's okay This top was four pieces in quarters one two three four had a little bit of shipping damage right there, which is no big deal, we fixed that. And uh, so I CA glued this, very similar to how we did the cracker box top, put tape on the sides and do it that way. So if you have any questions on that, look at my cracker box. I'll take some 80 grit and rough this up along the gluing edges. This is all sealed. So then we can just flip her right over. And then it's gonna be really easy to clamp. We have lots of clamping surfaces. We've got here, 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 and in the back. And then we'll wait, wait it, and I don't even know if I'll have to tape it. I really don't think I will. And then I'll have to sand this nasty ass top. But actually it looks worse on camera than it is. I already sanded it, that's actually really smooth. Okay, so we're gonna mix up 30 minute epoxy. I'm not gonna fiberglass this one on like I have been doing. Uh, just because it's a lot of extra weight, I don't need it. I already sealed it. 
because that's one of the reasons I use fiberglass sometimes to put tops on. It kills two birds with one stone. I fiberglass it, stick it down, and it seals it and adheres it to the hull. But in this case, since I had so much clear coat left, I just sealed the crap out of it. I mean, this thing's got like three mil of seal around there. Um, so I'm not going to do it that way. We're going to do it the old fashioned way. And we're going to line this guy up and glue her down. Very, very straightforward. Nothing fancy on this. And I'll just probably gauge my sides like this. And, you know, you got you got some work in time. Yeah, I think it's going to be super, super cool. All right. That's about it. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to glue this pig down. I'm going to clamp it. I'm going to weight it. And then you'll see here. We've got some nose work to do. This is gonna have to be flushed in and we're gonna have to make this nice because that's basically how it goes. Um, we'll have to make that sharpened up. But we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do it off camera and then um, we will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and sealed the bow top because I'm an idiot and I forgot to do that uh, the old fashioned way. So I gotta let that cure and then we're gonna glue down the deck, finish this video take off the weights tomorrow. So while we're doing that, we're going to dig out this hatch. <clears throat> so what you've got is these two spanners, all right? One's got dowel holes in it to lock this in, which is not how I'm going to put this on. I'm going to probably use magnets. One is a touch bigger than the other. Okay, I'm assuming that one goes in the front. Well, I don't know. We're going to find out, okay? And then we've got these two that are identical. Okay, those are middle ringers, I believe. And then these are technically tapered. Not by a hell of a lot, but they are tapered. Like you can see that one's identical. And if I flip it around, you can see there's a slight discrepancy. So, I don't know, kids. Like the rest of this boat, a lot of it's a fucking mystery. So, what we're going to do first <clears throat> is we're going to... I know these are the middle. I have absolutely no doubt. So, I'm going to simply CA glue this whole thing together. All right. I'm using thin CA just because this wood is so flippin' porous. It works really, really well. <clears throat> really fast, too. Okay. This one over here. Hopefully y'all can see this. I'm just squaring it up. Not that it's going to matter a hell of a lot. But... Okay. Looks like she's a little twisted. <clears throat> Alright, so at this point in the game, nothing matters. There is no right, there is no wrong. But ah, that's gonna hurt. Get glue fire. Glue fire is when you get CA glue on your finger, ah, and then you spray it with fucking activator. Hurts like hell. Your suffering will be legendary. Super hot. Glue burn. All right. That one should be square. That's the problem. This thin is so thin. It's like water. Get a towel, wrap that up. Okay, okay. So now, so in theory, you should have one with small notches and one with large notches, front and back, right? <clears throat> so let's measure that. Let's measure these notches. So we've got where my Scott Liddy coat shirt. So cool. All right. There's that. Yes. Okay. So the bigger slot goes in the back. Right there. Small one. Right there. Okay. Not so hard. So, like I said, common sense, and there are some 
subtleties, let's just say, to uh, you know noticing that these these notches are only like a millimeter off in depth. So you know you got to kind of when you you've got not so great directions, got to pay attention, which is something I usually don't do very well. Ah. Like when Joe from Zip Kits made fun of me for never reading the manual. I'm like, hey, I've been trying to do the manual. Eh. The rigger's going to be cool. Paint job turned out neat for a rigger. So the way that I saw in the manual that they do this is they have a spring pin like on a Thunderboat. I'll show you what I mean. See this spring pin? And I think I've actually got some, but I don't... How they're doing it, I, is dowels coming out of the boat, holding that, and then that spring pin goes here. So you'd slide it in, push it down. Eh. I think I'm just going to use magnets or come up with some other way. I can always add this later if, uh, if needed. Not the end of the world. Now what I should do, take some sandpaper that's not 5 grit. And this stuff, like I said, kids, stupid soft. We're going to sand this down a little bit. Doesn't take much. This might be the first time I've ever sat down in this shop. I don't know why I'm doing that. And I'm adding a little bit of chamfer to the outside edge. Just because this is straight and this is curved, so it just makes sense. And like I said, this stuff is very soft. One thing I would recommend, this boat as much fun as it's been to build, it really has been. It's really, it was pretty easy, and once you figure it out, it was pretty easy until the filling and sanding and all that shit. Then it was like kind of like, whoa, nightmare. So if you don't like sanding, don't buy this boat. This is without out the most, not this part right here, but the whole boat is the most I have ever hand sanded a boat, even with hydroplanes. Just so many, a lot of filler. And the other thing to be cognitive of as well. <clears throat> uh, let's see, is this a certain length? I think it's longer that way. Another thing to be cognitive of, nine three fours by nine. Right. So lengthways goes that way. Oh. It's an exact fit. So we're gonna have to put trim along the sides. Well shit, that's easy. Okay. Hang on a minute. Right, I've, tried, I've started this thought five fucking times. This is very soft wood, what I'm getting at. And the problem being is that if you dent this boat, like say you bring it in hard or um, whatever, it's probably going to leave a mark. I don't care how well you sealed it. Probably gonna dent it. Stuff's like pine. It's very, it's not balsa, but it's definitely not um, anything tough. And like I said, this boat takes a bit of sanding. <clears throat> but it's fun. This would be, I, I might build another. Um, this winter because this one it's turning out nice but and we'll see how it handles I, it's a skiff for Christ's sake you can't you can't mess up a skiff when it comes to the design and you know, as long as you make it a flat bottom you're pretty much golden um, <clears throat> but we'll just sand this down just like that magnifique so I'm gonna put a little bit of CA right there this is just to hold it when I epoxy. No biggie. Because if you have an air gap in here, one thing I'll promise you, harmonics. I don't know if you guys, you know, those of you guys that have run a lot of boats and and uh, know your stuff, when you get certain things loose or like 
uh, your prop shaft somehow breaks loose on a boat or something like that. It makes this harmonic sound like it's falling apart. Uh, so if you get an air gap in here, it's going to be an annoying day at the zoo for sure. Okay. So I'm just doing this with the CA just to hold it way epoxy. Now I could have used wood glue on this part, I suppose. <clears throat> Wood glue's novel. And if you guys, anybody out there buys this boat kit, and I recommend you do. It is it is a fun boat. It really is to build. Uh, not incredibly difficult. Uh, if you have any questions, if you do decide to take a run at this, not that I'm an expert at this boat yet, but um, please shoot me a message. I'll help you out best I can. <clears throat> but this would be a great winter project because it's really hand crafty. Got a little bit more uh, hand craftiness. But if you bought this boat and you're looking at that wannabe manual of theirs, um, and the pictures are good, I'll give them that. They say use epoxy or white glue. They are referring to wood glue. Okay? <laughs> Just letting you know that. So what we're going to end up doing, I have a feeling that this is going to fit exactly in that hole of the deck. So it's going to fall through. So what we're going to do after this is we're going to put decorative trim around some like quarter inch strip all the way around. I'm sure I've got some in here somewhere. Uh, I'll sand this so it's perfectly square. It's pretty close. Got a little bit of bowage right there, but it's not going to hurt anything. Um, and then I'll put magnets on the bottom and just have it that way. This is covering the engine. Now, the other kick in the head is that if you put this on, your engine's, eh, it's not, eh. You don't have to put a vent in here. They did on theirs. Uh, they put little plastic hoodies up there, uh, but the back's open, the front's open. I think it'll be fine, honestly. Um, we're not going across the ocean with it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucks with it. So I'm gonna mix up some epoxy. I'm probably gonna thin it, because this is a low stress thing. Uh, just use some 10 minute and thin it out maybe. And um, we'll go ahead and glue this up. And this is probably gonna be painted. The inside's white. I think the bottom of the boat might be blue and the top's gonna be red and I might make this blue as well. I haven't decided what I'm doing uh, yet, but we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy this up. And hopefully the next time we come back to this video here, Right, we're back. So this is what we ended up with. Real pretty and ugly. All right. So just a bunch of weights, nothing fancy. Clamps. Just as usual, get it done. If you got to put cans of coffee on there, great. If you got to put in cement blocks out of your yard, great. Okay, doesn't matter. Weight the shit down, make it stick, and you'll be fine. Now, this is a flat bottom boat, so there was no fear of, uh, you know, warping anything. You know, it's a nice flat surface, no big deal. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take all this stuff off, and we'll be right back. All right, so we got all the weights off. Everything's good. Um, the nice thing I will say about this wood... Uh, which I wasn't in love with at first. Uh, when I first started dealing with this kit, I was like, man, this is some really soft wood. And like I said earlier, if you hit anything, drop anything, screw anything up, it's going to dent, which it probably will. <clears throat> uh, better seal the hell out of it. But, uh, I mean, we still have to sand everything and form everything and do gap filler and all that. But the nice thing about... The soft wood is when you're weighting it down to glue or to epoxy, it's nice because the shit forms real easy. Ain't nothing hard at all. So yeah, that's really about it, guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I will probably leave these edges. I'm not gonna sand everything flush because this is already painted and clear coated on the inside. I don't wanna screw that up too bad. Um, I'll hand sand all this, get the rough edges out. Let's see what our uh, our hatch does. Remember this? Uh -huh. 
just going to fall right through. That's okay. Oh. Wow, it doesn't fit at all. All right, so got to put a hell of a lip on there. So, ah, it's been a long day. We got to sand it to fit a little bit, but man, it's a lot wider than it should be. Interesting. I mean, it's the right way too. But when we put the lip on there, we're going to put a lip on here. Uh, it'll be okay. I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> you think that would have fit better? I don't know. I mean, I can also sand this down, but it's actually easier to sand the lid. So, And that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this. Might putty it up tonight. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the finished sanding. Uh, actually, the next time you see this boat, it might be painted. I Maybe. We'll see. So, haven't figured that part out yet. But aside from that, it's gone fairly well. So, our nice, and it is about the same weight or a touch lighter than the fiberglass ones, in my opinion. Now, I did not weigh them. I'm just guesstimating, but it's not too bad, really. And I put a shit ton of finishing product on here. So, yeah, I mean, we got to sand all this. We got to take these edges down and you know all that good stuff so until the next time kids i'm not sure what i'm doing with the next video if it's going to be totally painted or what but i'm going to sand everything down and we'll uh sketch everything out and see how she goes so until next time keep dry side up Bye.